Good afternoon, everybody. In around about 10 hours' time, we will know the lineups for the quarterfinals of the men's and women's WDF World Championship. These two unseeded players are hoping to book their spot and continue what have been fantastic runs. Johnny Tatter got everything right when he needed to against Sean McDonald in round one. And then he followed that particular success with a 3-2 victory against the Northern Irishman, Barry Copeland. Jim Widmeyer has won a couple of games to get to this stage as well. Patrick Kovac was dispatched in round one. And then even though he only averaged around 75, he was far too strong for a below par mark, but really he was still struggling with the effects of a broken leg suffered uh, a few months ago. Andy Bartons, who was superb last night in probably the game of the tournament, 3-1 win against Gary Stone, awaits the winner of this. They will go into that game as the underdogs. They will be keen to get their place in the last eight. A draw that has opened up quite nicely. First set, first leg. It's All things first. considered. Game on. Christian Sorensen is back fit and fighting after ruling himself out yesterday because of a, a cold. So it's good to see. 100. Twenty-two. First to three sets. We will have a short intermission after the second set. Sixty. Both players will sense what a big opportunity this is. 41. 81. 81. A win for Widmeyer would Beat his personal best of a last 16 appearance 45. at Lakeside. Got to that stage in 2015. 100. 100. One hundred eighty. Give you a cry. One hundred and thirty-four. That's the timing that has seen Johnny Tata win both these matches after what looked like a slow start to this game. Johnny, you require fifty-eight. Now gives himself a single to double shot. Thirty-eight. But this time, Jim, you require does not take the most, make the most of the opportunity. Double nine. 27. Johnny, you require 20. There are going to be a few early nerves. That's completely understandable. 30. Squeezes that in. Johnny Tata. Johnny Second Tata Johnny to with a break first. of throw in the very first Eight. leg. Very difficult game to call based on what we've seen from the two players so far. They've both had an average in the mid 70s and then both had an average in the low 80s. 
Well, Johnny's second game was better. Jim's was a bit of a regression. 60. One hundred. Jim looks primed to break back. As Johnny drifts left. 45. Jim, you require 90. 50. Went treble 16, looking for double 18. 23. Messy setup, but it shouldn't really matter. 83. Jim, you require 67. 67. Tops for Jim Widmeyer. Game seven is second leg. Jim Widmeyer. That's better, that's more clinical. Third leg, it's Jim to throw first. And a break of throw Game back. On. Both players looking to be pioneers for their darting nations. 85. Johnny Tata, the bright hope for New Zealand with Hapai Puhar and Ben Robb withdrawing from the field after qualifying 85. for Alexandra Palace. Jim Widmeyer still wants to do it for America, 60. even though he's probably overshadowed by both Danny Lorby and Leonard Gates, who play last this evening. I'm sure everyone is looking forward to that. 100. One hundred. Johnny require one hundred and seven. Sixteen or treble twenty. I always feel it is a better shot to go for the sixteen. It's not quite as much adjustment. Jim, you require one hundred and thirty-one. Forty-one. Johnny, you require fifty-one. Double sixteen. Game shot the third leg. Johnny Tata. Johnny Tata finishes fifty-one. Wasn't exactly a brilliant doubling performance from Tata against Barry Copeland. He missed twenty-seven in total at the outer ring. But it's that good habit, I suppose, of hitting them at the right time. Won the first two sets in that game, then was reeled in. Had to find a ton plus checkout.
to end the contest. 85. Sixty. One hundred and forty. One hundred and thirty-nine. First of back-to-back -back games where we're going to have Kiwi representation. Wendy Harper wins a World Championship bout. The day after Nicole Renault took Aileen, Aileen de Graff all the way. Super performance. She just came up short. Chance for the first set has now gone. 38. Jim, you require 136. 71. Johnny, you require 58. It's only just in the single. But it doesn't okay, put him off. The first set. Johnny Tata. First blood goes to Johnny Tata. Second set. First leg. It's Johnny to throw first. Game on. One hundred and forty. Haven't got the sets column on our uh, scoreboard, but confirmation it definitely is one set to nil to Johnny Tata. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Fifty-nine. Johnny, you require one hundred and sixty. Andy Barton's hit this last night. Johnny Tatter is not going to follow suit. One hundred. That first start will Johnny really irritate Jim Widmeyer. Those two may have improved his mood somewhat, but 140, a very big ask. 40. Starts that visit in almost an identical place to the last one. Johnny, you require 20. Game shot in the first leg, Johnny Tata. Second leg, it's given to throw first. Johnny Tata holds his throw in the second set. First leg. Too many of Jim's darts are particularly drifting into the one.
55. Early into the piece, but I don't believe Andy Bartons will have any reason to fear either of these two. 85. Big improvements are to be found. We know that they've both got it. Big moment in Johnny Tata's career came in the summer. 41. Historic victory over Peter Wright in the New Zealand Darts Masters. 100. Following up at 2022, which saw him claim his first couple of titles in the WDF system. John Wilkie Memorial and the North Island Masters. 87. Finally applies a bit of pressure. And it means Johnny Tata looks at the bullseye. 63. Jim, you require 92. Jim opts to start on the bull. And that's a real bonus. Double 16. Game seven, the second Excellent Jim work Widmeyer. from Jim Widmeyer. Third leg, it's Johnny to throw first. Game on. Didn't look overly likely, given how he's been scoring, but no real issues with the finishing. Last two darts he's wanted at the double have both gone in as Johnny Tata finds a second 180 in the game. 60. Just to clarify, if you are just tuning in, Johnny Tata is one set up. A few issues with the scoreboard graphic, but 58. first one to get to three legs will win the set. Then we will go to a break. 95. Johnny, you require 129. 57. 133. Johnny requires 72. Has to go 50. Well, decided to take the risk. 32. He wasn't far Jimmy from the reward. 132. 20 Tato was right to take the risk. 52. Johnny, you require 40. Game set in the third leg. It's Johnny Tata. Johnny Tata holds throw again. Fourth leg. It's Jim to throw first. Game on. 58. Jim doesn't hold here. And trails by two sets. 54. Even though it's not quite as rapid fire as round one, where it was first to two, no break. Things can unravel pretty quickly. 58. One hundred. Does know how to win. Jim Widmeyer. Been winning tournaments for nigh on three, four decades. Fifty-four years old now is Captain America.
Johnny Tata is 23 wow. years his junior. Perhaps he'll be feeling a little bit fresher. That was a real slip. 78. Johnny, you require 157. You'd probably say he's done enough to rescue that. 93. Jim, you require 86. Double 16. Oh, what a yeah, check out from Jim Widmeyer. Jim Widmeyer. He looked like he'd blown it with another errant first start. But precision on the ball and then double 16. Strong riposte from the New Zealander. 100. <laughs> 60. <laughs> 140. When the pressure has been on Johnny Tata, he has usually responded. 100. Johnny we only need to ask Sean McDonald and Barry Copeland. Another treble 19. Doesn't find it. Should go across to treble 10. 86. Johnny, you require 52. Double 16 to go into a two-set lead. 20. Johnny Tata Johnny misses the chance. 50. How many times has Jim Widmeyer looked at the start of a combination 26. and gone into the single one? Johnny, you require 32. It's costing him. Five missed starts for the set. Require 124. Treble 18. 56. Three well thrown darts. Johnny, you require eight. With no reward. 18. Johnny Tata does go into a two set Johnny lead. Tata. Jim Widmeyer now in the unenviable position of a player who has to win three sets on the bounce. Tata took his time to take out eight, but double two came to his rescue. Jim Widmeyer is struggling, and Johnny Tata is one set away from the quarterfinals. This program is brought to you by Benji Marine Engine Repair and Trading. Specialized in Watsila engines with a 24 hour a day high quality worldwide service. And by Hemeco Storage Systems, your one stop storage system solution with over a hundred years of experience. The 45th annual Winmore Fleetwood Memorial Las Vegas Open will be held from January 19th to the 21st. 
Sin City welcomes you to come and play in the entertainment capital of the world. Both men's and women's champions will win places at the 2024 WDF World Championships. The Romanian Darts Festival is from January the 26th till January the 28th. Come join the party in Bucharest. Register to play by Wednesday the 24th of January. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is held from February 1st till February 4th. Registration is open until January the 16th. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is by far the largest darts party in the world that you should not miss. And the men's and women's champions go to the lakeside in December 2024. The Swiss Open and Helvetia Open tournaments are held from May 31st till June the 2nd. One of the longest running tournaments in Europe invites you to join them in the most beautiful surroundings you'll find in Europe. The Swedish Open and Masters is held from August 16th till 18th. A popular tournament for many of Europe's best aerosmiths. For more information on each of these tournaments go to the link in the description. A special thank you to our tournament sponsors Winmore. ANG Travel Group, iDarts, Dart Connect, CT1 and Quiff. Welcome back to Lakeside, where Johnny Tata is 2-0 up against Jim Widmeyer. Neither player playing particularly brilliantly at the moment. Johnny Tata averaging 78 compared to Jim's 75. But once again, as he did against Sean McDonald, as he did against Barry Copeland, he is taking chances when it matters most. He did need eight pokes at a double in the last leg before he finally got over the line. And the reason why he was allowed those is because the scoring from Jim has not been great. Far too many missed darts at the treble. Wow. Far too many spraying into the ones and the fives. 
Johnny has been there to clean up. And that's an authoritative start to this third set. Very knowing grin from Tata. Following that particularly wild first dart. Jim looking stressed. Well, Johnny's just a cool customer, isn't he? Wow. A cool customer and an excellent dart player. On for an 11 dart at... Johnny, you require 16. To break the wind, may I throw again? 14. Once more, he has afforded a chance to miss. 84. Johnny, you require 20. No score. Bust the score. Require 114. No, it's not the worst bust. He'd rather the dart land there than inside the five. Double 19. 76. Johnny, you require 20. It's popped up with some of those shots from out of nowhere at times. 2nd leg running, it is 8th time lucky for Johnny Tata. 2nd leg, it's Johnny to throw first. Game Bailed out by the power scoring. 114. The key where you're making a dash for the finishing line. Tension, but narrowly north of the target. Forty-one, Johnny. You require one hundred and five. Another slack visit from Jim Widmer. Trouble nineteen. Eighty-nine, Jim. You require one hundred and thirty-nine. Trouble 14 or Bull. I almost wouldn't have been surprised to see Jim when I take that out. But alas, he doesn't. And Johnny Tata takes double four. One leg away from a place in the quarterfinals on his debut on the lakeside stage. Forty-five. 
51. Can you require 154? Didn't entertain the possibility of two treble 19s. 94. Really close to the treble. Doesn't matter, but you don't see that often where a player wants 60 and the first dart dips below the treble. Jim Widmer keeps his hopes alive. 42. They are slim hopes. And they are getting slimmer with visits like that. Still on north in the 180 column. Four of them have been struck by Johnny. He's a really powerful scorer when he's at his best. Hasn't been at his best, I don't think, for the whole tournament, but he's finding ways to win. And that's an admirable quality in any dart player. Giving himself a great chance. 136 is not going to go. They may be the last darts he throws in this year's World Championship. Double 10. Johnny Tata. Millimeters away from being a quarter finalist. And the match goes on. It's been remarkably efficient on the outer ring. Fifth leg is given to throw first. Game on. Five from nine. I bet he wishes we were playing double start. 114. Treble the slip.
16. Sixty points have been picked up off the floor. Should look at the eighteens. Seventy seven. Can you require one hundred and twenty six? Trouble nineteen. Flies off course. 58. Johnny, you require 124. 68. Jim Widmer is going to get set darts. Check. 17. Jim, you require 68. Oh, he's gone out the board. 28. Johnny, you require 54. You can't legislate for that. 58. Sums it all up for Jim. And Johnny is there Shot. to make mincemeat of him. Johnny Tata! On his debut, Johnny Tata is a world championship quarter finalist. He wasn't put under the pump quite as much as he was with Sean McDonald and Barry Copeland. But once again, he has enough in the tank to get the job done. Huge disappointment for Jim Widmeyer, who, while he may have been excellent on the doubles, lacked the scoring power to match the New Zealander. A date with Andy Bartons is to come. He knows he'll have to improve on his performance, but that is for another day. Johnny Tata through to the quarterfinals. We have now got another New Zealander in Wendy Harper making her world championship debut. She faces last year's finalist in the women's tournament, Kirsty Hutchinson. This program is brought to you by Benji Marine Engine Repair and Trading. Specialized in Watsila engines with a 24 hour a day high quality worldwide service. And by Hemeco Storage Systems, your one stop storage system solution with over 100 years of experience. The 45th annual Winmore Fleetwood Memorial Las Vegas Open will be held from January 19th till the 21st. Sin City welcomes you to come and play in the entertainment capital of the world. Both men's and women's champions will win places at the 2024 WDF World Championships. The Romanian Darts Festival is from January the 26th till January the 28th. Come join the party in Bucharest. Register to play by Wednesday the 24th of January. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is held from February 1st till February 4th. Registration is open until January the 16th. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is by far the largest darts party in the world that you should not miss. And the men's and women's champions go to the lakeside in December 2024. The Swiss Open and Helvetia Open tournaments are held from May 31st till June the 2nd. One of the longest running tournaments in Europe invites you to join them in the most beautiful surroundings you'll find in Europe. The Swedish Open and Masters is held from August 16th till 18th. A popular tournament for many of Europe's best aerosmiths. For more information on each of these tournaments go to the link in the description. A special thank you to our tournament sponsors Winmore. ANG Travel Group, iDarts, Dart Connect, CT1, and Quiff.
We now return to the second round of the women's competition here at the 2023 CT1 WDF Lakeside World Championship. And we welcome back to the stage last year's Lakeside World Championship finalist, the reigning Bruges Open champion from England, Kirsty Hutchinson. <laughs> Her opponent is enjoying her Lakeside World Championship debut. The reigning Ted Clements Memorial Champion from New Zealand, Wendell's Wendy Harper. At the age of 63, Wendy Harper is gracing the World Championship stage for the very first time. A player who's really come to light in the past five years or so. Winning several titles down under, a total of 14. She is a late bloomer, so to speak, and is a very blooming loud shirt she's got on but Kirsty Hutchinson is probably the toughest possible draw of the non-seeded players someone who reached the final last year lost out to Bo Greaves but she played some terrific darts en route super semi-final win against Rihanna Sullivan who was excellent in her opening match against Suzanne Smith and she dealt with the tough task of Mayumi Uchi in her first round game, Mayumi, a very slow player. Easy for someone who's a lot more rhythmic like Kirsty to get frustrated and be knocked out of her own rhythm. First set, first leg, it's Kirsty to throw but first. She was able game on. to win that by two sets to nil. Despite the seedings, she probably comes into this as the favourite. 41. First few visits will probably tell us what Wendy Harper is feeling. Forty-four. Unusual dart setup she's got. Those scalloped barrels. Kirsty Zara's Sixteen. far more simple, far more regulation. One hundred. Forty one. Kirsty's looking to use her experience. To her advantage. Ninety five. Yeah. 
when he did reach the last 16 of the World Cup and the averages in that tournament range from the low 60s to the mid 70s. At the very worst, you'd expect high 60s from Kirsty, so it's going to have to be a terrific performance from Wendy Harper to get past the Durham competitor. First unit cry, 146. She's matching a stride for stride in this leg. Sixteen. Then a unit cry, 148. Go across to the twelves. Decides to stay on the treble twenty. First unit cry, 86. One dart at the bullseye. 47. Very you require 53. Long way off the target. 33. Two chances missed for an early 35. break of throw, which would have no doubt raised the confidence levels. Uh, Kirsty Hutchinson holds Kirstie in Hutchinson. 23 darts. Second leg, it's Bernie to throw first. She is an impressive scorer when she gets going. Forty-one. She showed that against Mayumi. A couple of one eighties. Eighty-five. Didn't exactly like that. Kirsty Hutchinson has six darts to clean up 74. Unless Wendy goes and breaks a record. 66. Very you require 170. What a way to win your first world championship leg. And that hope is going to have to be saved for another day. 54. Goes to Unicar 8. 
four. Vanny you require 116. A little bit of faffing on the doubles. Forty five. Goes to Yuri Car four. Yeah, that's came short in the second line. No faff there. Kirsty Hutchinson. Third line is Kirsty to throw first. Came on. Took the first set against Mayumi Uchi in three straight legs. Mayumi only having darts at a double in one of them. That's what she's capable of. Wendy Harper's taking some time to adjust to the lakeside stage, understandably so, but average currently is sub 60. 41. And even though there's been a couple of errant visits from Kirsty, she is looking much stronger right now. 100. Fifty nine, fifty five, girls, you require one hundred and twenty. Lovely first start. Tops for the set. One hundred. Goes to Unicorn 20. The sixth seed is struggling. And Kirsty Hutchinson is in no set. mood for sympathy. Kirsty Hutchinson. Second set, first lag. It's ready to throw first. Game on. Twenty eight. Forty six. One of forty. It's more like it. To come all the way from New One Zealand and essentially not perform to your best. You wouldn't blame her if she's feeling slightly deflated right now. Forty. Quite a bit of head shaking and pausing.
one on an M40. Nearly a great catch from Marco Myatt. First slip. Sixteen. Forty three. Curse you require one hundred and thirty two. Went looking for the bolt. A couple of them would have left double sixteen. Forty four. Venue you require one hundred and thirty three. Single 13 leaves tops. One on the M6. Double 13 leaves 27. Goes to Unicor, 88. Can afford to have a laugh at it. There'll be no laughter if this goes. Yeah, it has it does go. In the first line. No laughter, but a nice round of applause. Second line, it's Gersty to through first. Game on. Been working with three time Lakeside champion and Premier League champion Glenn Durrant recently. Both Northeasterners. 55. It looks like it's paying off for it. 1 on an M40. One hundred. This leg has been another example of a scoring power, scoring prowess. Fifty nine. Goes to your require one hundred and sixty one. And that made everyone in the venue jump. 18. But even with one dart on the floor, she has got bundles of time. 125. Goes to Unicorn, 81. Forty-four left. Forty-one. One of a mathematics glitch there from Kirsty, but she set it up nicely for tops. Forty-five. Goes to Unicorn. Forty. They're not great guides. 20. And it was a big over adjustment. 85. Goes to Unicorn. 20. Double five. 
And has been short in the second round. Great Kirsty dart. Hutchinson. And Kirsty Hutchinson is one leg away like from a place in the quarterfinals. Looking to become the seventh woman to book her place. And the winner of this will face the winner of our women's match that comes this evening. Four-time champion Lisa Ashton returns to Lakeside. She's up against Priscilla Steenbergen. One on the name, 40. Wendy Harper has consistently been a couple of darts behind in all six legs we've played so far. 14. That's unfortunate. But she hasn't given herself chances. She hasn't had a dart at double since the first leg of the match. You know, all too easy for Kirsty Hutchinson, who is 95 points away from a quarter final spot. Forty-one goes to Unicorn ninety-five. Has to pick off two big trebles. Fifty five. She doesn't manage it. Sixty. Forty five. Tops for the match. Double ten. 14. Very you require 143. All evidence suggests she's going to come back. And she will. 16. Goes to you require 20. King. Kirsty Hutchinson is a woman Kirstie on a mission. Hutchinson. Last year's runner-up was far too strong for the New Zealander debutante Wendy Harper. Will be bitterly disappointed with her performance. She did not do herself justice after making the long journey here to Lakeside. But Kirsty Hutchinson is in no mood to be charitable. It was a really excellent performance in all departments, strong scoring and pretty good finishing as well. Kirsty Hutchinson is through to the quarterfinals. Coming up next on the Lakeside stage, we return to the men's draw, where Dennis Nilsson of Sweden takes on Alexander Merckx of the Netherlands. This program is brought to you by Benji Marine Engine Repair and Trading. Specialized in Watsila engines with a 24 hour a day high quality worldwide service. And by Hemeco Storage Systems, your one stop storage system solution with over 100 years of experience. 
The 45th annual Winmore Fleetwood Memorial Las Vegas Open will be held from January 19th to the 21st. Sin City welcomes you to come and play in the entertainment capital of the world. Both men's and women's champions will win places at the 2024 WDF World Championships. The Romanian Darts Festival is from January the 26th till January the 28th. Come join the party in Bucharest. Register to play by Wednesday the 24th of January. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is held from February 1st till February 4th. Registration is open until January the 16th. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is by far the largest darts party in the world that you should not miss. And the men's and women's champions go to the lakeside in December 2024. The Swiss Open and Helvetia Open tournaments are held from May 31st till June the 2nd. One of the longest running tournaments in Europe invites you to join them in the most beautiful surroundings you'll find in Europe. The Swedish Open and Masters is held from August 16th till 18th. A popular tournament for many of Europe's best aerosmiths. For more information on each of these tournaments, go to the link in the description. A special thank you to our tournament sponsors, Winmore, ANG Travel Group, iDarts, Dart Connect, CT1 and Quiff.
We return to the men's third round here at the CT1 WDF Lakeside World Darts Championship. And we welcome to the stage, first of all, the former Lithuania Open and Swedish Open champion, Sweden's strongman, Dennis Nilsson. We now welcome a man enjoying his Lakeside World Championship debut, the former Helvetia Open and Lithuania Open champion from the Netherlands, Alexander the Great, Alexander Merckx. <laughs> Johnny Tata and Kirsty Hutchinson have booked their places in the men's and women's world championship quarterfinals respectively with comfortable straight sets wins. This one has all the ingredients to not be comfortable for either player. Dennis Nilsson to round off the action on Monday evening came through probably the tensest match of the tournament so far in defeating number four seed James Hurrell. He survived match darts and he probably showcased the best example of clutch doubling, a 1-2-1 one, one finish on the bull in the penultimate leg just after Hurrell landed a maximum. He then went on to win the game with Hurrell thinking, what if? And he's probably grateful that he's had a couple of days off to recover and recuperate. He takes on Dutchman Alexander Merckx, who was too strong for his compatriot, Ian Contiment but it was a game littered with missed darts at a double. Alexander Merckx hit nine of them. He missed 36. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First so set, first leg. In it's his downtime, I'm sure he's game been on. doing practicing on the doubles and virtually nothing else. It is Dennis who's going to get this game off and underway. We know that Alexander Merckx is a very quick player and the tie with Iron Consman probably suited him because there were two players who really go at it hammer and tong Dennis more deliberate 140 there are players who know plenty about each other's games this is the fifth meeting Merckx has won three of them and one of them in Lithuania in May last year so he beat Dennis in the semi-final he then went on to win the tournament beating Aaron Turner in the final 57. A good omen, perhaps. But the slate is wiped clean on the lakeside stage. One hundred. Former strongman Dennis Nilsson, who had to summon an awful lot of strength 60. to overcome Hurrell. It was a pretty partisan crowd in Hurrell's favour, but he looked unflappable. Doesn't look like the sort of, not just player, but man to wilt under any sort of pressure. 41. He's just got to let his darts do the talking. 80. 
And it's Alexander who is first to a finish. Ninety-seven. Alexander, you require one hundred and sixty-four. Sixty-four. Danish, you require one hundred and twenty. Gets down to the nice even ton. One twenty checkout for Dennis to hold the throw, and he's got a chance. Eighty. Alexander, you require one hundred. It is a chance that wasn't taken. 60. Dennis Alexander opting to go for treble 16 rather than tops tops. A little Dennis bit surprising, but Dennis Nilsson, Dennis Nilsson is there Dennis to clean up. To throw first. <laughs> 100. Two-time title winner in the WDF is Alexander Merckx. It's why he's one of the seeded players. 60. The number 13 man. And he could potentially tee up an all-Dutch quarter-final because 100. Wesley Plazier awaits the winner. He looked in full command against James Richardson last night. Certainly another potential winner. 139. 60. 41. Eighty-five. Eighty-five. Alexander, you require one hundred and fifty-six. One hundred. Pressure on this 56 now. First darts at a double. What has Alexander got up his sleeve? Well, that's much, much better. Alexander Merckx. Promising signs. Following that very Jekyll and Hyde performance against Arian Kontamon. 100. Very little wrong with the Alexander Merckx scoring, but... You do struggle to get the job done. You're going to be in trouble, especially against an opponent of Dennis's calibre. 97. with the Merckx scoring, but Dennis is the man to land the game's 100. first maximum. Dennis should require 124. Could be a dozen data. Looks over at the score and sees that he doesn't need to go the 14s route. 84. It's a good setup. Don't bust this. 156. Dennis should require 40. That is incredibly Dutch. 20. Alexander, you require 24. And it could be incredibly Game profitable. It is. Alexander Merckx. 
Two from two Four on the doubles, a complete turnaround from Game his ball. first match. Ninety-six. One hundred. Sixty. One hundred and forty. Fifty-nine. Preparation for this tournament for Alexander was reaching the quarter-finals of the Irish Open. Losing out to someone who we saw yesterday, David Kerwin, bowing out of the tournament. The last eight appearance as well for Dennis, but in the Czech Dennis Open. Losing to Andy Bartons. Looks in a good position to break back. Twenty seven. Dennis should require sixty four. Terrible setup shot from Alexander leaves him on a bogey number. Tops. 44. Well, he's lucky that Alexander had a bit of a meltdown with the last three darts. 137. But he's right on his 20. tail now. Bit of hesitancy with the scores. He's asking our referee Charlie Corstafine to Not tell him score. what he needs. Alexander, you require and that hesitancy has carried itself into the doubles. No score. Dennis should require three well thrown darts. Game shot on the fourth leg. But Dennis, Dennis Nilsson. Nilsson. He's the man who levels this setup to all. Fifth leg, it's Dennis to throw first. Game on. Eighty three. Sixty. One hundred. Eighty five. One hundred and forty. Very demure and respectful atmosphere at Lakeside this afternoon. One hundred. It's going to be noisy this weekend. Sell out on Saturday for semi finals night. One hundred. And a good turnout expected on well, Sunday and tomorrow. One hundred. Dennis should require seventy eight. Dennis Nilsson should get at least one dart for the set. He's going to get double that. 
James and he only the needs leg. one. Dennis Nilsson, Dennis Nilsson holds Second in the first set, first set of this first. last 16. Good performance from him so far, averaging around the 90 mark. 80. It's like a magic box, that. Put your hand in, you'll pick a dart out. 93. 85 81 60 First maximum for Alexander Merckx. Ninety-five. Alexander, you require eighty-eight. Hit three of them against Contamon, and the one he's hit now has given him a great springboard to go and win the first leg of this second set. Alexander, you require 32. Game shot on the first leg. Alexander Burks. Second leg. It's He's learned all the right first. lessons. Game on. Apart from those misses at double 11, which is a difficult enough double as it is, and there were three pretty well thrown darts on the wire. He's been no perfect. And if anything, he just needs to up his scoring. It's been a bit of a turnaround. Sixty. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. He's on a bit of a charge now. Sixty. Alexander require one hundred and twenty four. Should go to treble 18 and 84. does. And it doesn't take him long to work that out. A master of the maths. 100. Alexander, you require 40. Game shot on the second leg. Alexander Merckx. Tops for Merckx. Third leg, it's Alexander to throw first. Four different doubles, so... Showing he's got variety. One hundred. One hundred and eighty. Intimidating tap on the shoulder from Dennis Nilsson. One hundred. Hang about. One Dennis Nilsson. Three darts away. 
from the perfect leg. 60. Dennis from Rakai, 140. Three darts away from history. Sixty. Dennis to require eighty six. Still got time. Alexander not on a finish. Doesn't have to entertain the bullseye. Fifty three. Dennis should require 40. Game shot on the third leg. 13 Dennis dart Nilsen. leg for Dennis Nilsson. Fourth leg, it's Dennis to throw first. Game on. Who, as we've just seen, is a pretty handy scorer himself. 59. He's enjoyed so much success over the years in the Scandinavian circuit. 137. Wins in Finland, Lithuania, Latvia, and his home country, Sweden. Open winner there back in 2019. Defeating a former 100. world champion in Wayne Warren. Twenty-five. Played a few games on the Euro Tour this year as well. Forty-four. Certainly a more experienced player than Alexander Merckx. Ninety-five. Doesn't look like the break of throw is going to be followed. Even if he gets another treble, which leaves a finish. And he doesn't. 144. 60. Alexander, you require 84. 14 or treble. Not the big 11. That was not on the agenda. 48. Dennis should require 100. 60. Alexander, you require 30. Merck is a lucky boy. Dennis should require 40. But he has spurned three chances to take this second set. 20. Dennis Nilsson can't keep it alive. Alexander, you require 80. No score. Well, he went for the split. And once Dennis again, it is another 20. missed big number. No score. And now he's bossed as well. Alexander, you require 18. Game shot on the second well, there it goes. Alexander Merckx. Alexander Merckx, in a very roundabout way, takes the second set. Both players missing big chances towards the end. Bit of tension in the arms of both players. This is a very, very close encounter. Dennis Nilsson teased us with a potential nine-darter, but missed the seventh dart. 
This one has all the makings of a lakeside lengthy classic. It is Dennis Nilsson one, Alexander Merckx one. This program is brought to you by Benji Marine Engine Repair and Trading. Specialized in Watsila engines with a 24 hour a day high quality worldwide service. And by Hemeco Storage Systems, your one stop storage system solution with over a hundred years of experience. The 45th annual Winmore Fleetwood Memorial Las Vegas Open will be held from January 19th to the 21st. Sin City welcomes you to come and play in the entertainment capital of the world. Both men's and women's champions will win places at the 2024 WDF World Championships. The Romanian Darts Festival is from January the 26th till January the 28th. Come join the party in Bucharest. Register to play by Wednesday the 24th of January. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is held from February 1st till February 4th. Registration is open until January the 16th. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is by far the largest darts party in the world that you should not miss. And the men's and women's champions go to the lakeside in December 2024. The Swiss Open and Helvetia Open tournaments are held from May 31st till June the 2nd. One of the longest running tournaments in Europe invites you to join them in the most beautiful surroundings you'll find in Europe. The Swedish Open and Masters is held from August 16th till 18th. A popular tournament for many of Europe's best aerosmiths. For more information on each of these tournaments go to the link in the description. A special thank you to our tournament sponsors Winmore. ANG Travel Group, iDarts, Dart Connect, CT1 and Quiff. Welcome back to Lakeside. Game three of four in this afternoon session. Johnny Tata too strong for Jim Widmeyer. Ditto Kirsty Hutchinson on Wendy Harper. Dennis Nilsson is too strong for many people in different ways. But right now, he and Alexander Merckx neck and neck at one set apiece. A bit of doubling madness 
in that final leg before the break. First Dennis set, Nilsson missing leg. six in order to Get prolong off. it. Alexander Merckx with a spate of missed big numbers. Finally took out an 18 checkout on double eight. Opted to carry on with the split 61. of the dart. And that's not going to improve Dennis Nilsson's mood. Not that he looks like someone who's prone to shouting. He just 100. holds it all in. And last leg, even though he won it, spoiled a really good spell of doubling from Alexander Merckx. And he won't be overly bothered by it now. The only thing he's bothered about is beating Dennis any which way he can. To do that, he's going to have to find a break of throw. And he might get an opportunity. Tops is usually his favourite target and missed it by a distance. And to add insult to injury, misses the big three. Dennis should require 26. This wasn't part of the plan. Game shot on the first leg. Happy Dennis accident. Wilson. Second leg, it's Alexander to throw first. Why leave tops and tens when you're so good at double 13? 140. Brilliant from Alexander Merckx. Dennis has a 13 darter in his back pocket Alexander already. 36. Alexander doesn't join the club. Goes for the split again. 20. Dennis should require 156. Double 18. Well, Dennis Nilsson. Close to a blockbuster. Alexander requires 16. Game shot on the second leg. Alexander Burks. Alexander Third gets leg. the job Dennis done. Throw first. Game off.
100. Fill it up, Dennis. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Dennis should require one hundred and one. Trouble nineteen. Or trouble fifteen. Or big two. Taking him right out of his rhythm. But he recovers. Alexander, you require 160. Alexander Merck's not going to get a go at 160. Game shot in the first leg. Right hand corner. Dennis Nilsson. Dennis Nilsson. Better on tops than he was in the first leg when he missed it low and left. 100. Dennis has already in this tournament outperformed his previous best efforts. Losses at the first stage against Ryan Joyce and Jim Williams, 2017 and 18. 40. Tournament win here might spur him on to go and play a few more darts outside of Scandinavia. Forty-one. Well, it depends on what he's happy doing, I suppose. But talented player. One hundred. I'm sure Alexander Merckx has got his eyes on plenty as well. Alexander, you require 76. 60. Double eight isn't there, but it still looks like it's going to be a comfortable hold of throw. 60. Famous last words. And that's four trebleless visits in a row. 60. Moves across. No score. And yet that still doesn't help him. Require 160. Sixty. Alexander you requires sixty. Dennis's range isn't there. Game shot on the fourth. Play. Alexander's is this time. Fifth, Four holds of throw in this third set. Classic example of a bad turn. Didn't follow the great first dart. 100. Yeah. 
140. Classic example of a brilliant 140. And doesn't Dennis Nilsson know it? 60. Looks a bit wobbly. He changes his approach. Thirty-seven. Sensibly so. One hundred. Dennis should require eighty-four. Double twelve. Dennis Nilsson nudges ahead again. Dennis Nilsson. Pulse Third set belongs to the Swede. One hundred. One hundred and forty. May have given him a new lease of life. Fifty-seven. Eighty-four is one of those checkouts that can go south very quickly because sometimes you are forced to bring in the bullseye and then you've got a split. Sixty. One hundred and thirty-four. Dennis Nilsson well ahead in the 180 count. 58. Dennis should require 121. 11 or treble. Leaves the bullseye. 96. Alexander, you require 152. You hear the clatter of the point on the wire. 100. Dennis should require 25. 88. Game shot on the first line. Dennis Nilsson. Points to the board in a manner of how Second well did I throw that? First. Game on. Rhetorical question because you wouldn't say not very to Dennis. And that 14 data from Dennis Nilsson means that Alexander Merckx has to find a break at some point in this set. Otherwise, he's saying goodbye to Lakeside and heading back to the Netherlands. 60. One hundred. Seventy-eight. One hundred and eighty. Superbly timed. Not firing in this leg. 45. Dennis Ricardo. And that was terribly timed from Merckx. Troll 14 or bullseye. Went searching for the smaller target. Suppose it's a gamble that's worth making with Merckx back on 141. 45. Alexander require 141. Ninety-five. 
Dennis should require 57. Two darts at tops. Dennis Nilsson is one leg away Dennis from Nilsen. reaching his first World Championship Dennis, quarter Alexander final. One hundred. One hundred and twenty one. One hundred and twenty five. We saw incremental improvement from Dennis between round one and round two. An average of 75 against Jordan Brooks, 79 against James Hurrell. 140. This right here is more what we're used to seeing. It's around the 89 mark. 100. 148. This is punishing for Alexander Merckx. With the way Dennis has thrown in the last two sets, 118 may have to go. Bullseye. Game oh, it does go. Alexander Merckx. How unexpected was that? Game on. One hundred and forty. Reminiscent, really, of the Nilsson one-two-one against Hurrell. Sixty. Giving himself a purposely harder route. There is life yet in Alexander. 60. There's been more Alexander the Good than Alexander the Great today. That 118 was tip top. 140. That might just be a parting gift. Because Dennis Nilsson wants double 18 after just 12 darts. He has raised the bar. Dennis should require 36. And he lifts the bar right above his head. Dennis Nilsson. Dennis Nilsson with a quality performance against Alexander Merckx. A huge improvement from what we saw against Jordan Brooks and James Hurrell. Alexander Merckx played his part in the drama. The 118 finish on the bullseye was a tremendous outshot that Dennis Nilsson, proving why he is the strong man on the hockey. Really giving it some to the crowd. He enjoyed that moment. A fabulous performance, winning six of the last nine legs. He will go through to face Wesley Plaisier in the quarterfinals. But after this short break, we're going to have the final match of this afternoon session. And it concerns another Dutchman, Chris Landman. He faces the Swiss, Thomas Youngens.
This program is brought to you by Benji Marine Engine Repair and Trading. Specialized in Watsila engines with a 24 hour a day high quality worldwide service. And by Hemeco Storage Systems, your one stop storage system solution with over a hundred years of experience. The 45th annual Winmore Fleetwood Memorial Las Vegas Open will be held from January 19th to the 21st. Sin City welcomes you to come and play in the entertainment capital of the world. Both men's and women's champions will win places at the 2024 WDF World Championships. The Romanian Darts Festival is from January the 26th till January the 28th. Come join the party in Bucharest. Register to play by Wednesday the 24th of January. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is held from February 1st till February 4th. Registration is open until January the 16th. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is by far the largest darts party in the world that you should not miss. And the men's and women's champions go to the lakeside in December 2024. The Swiss Open and Helvetia Open tournaments are held from May 31st till June the 2nd. One of the longest running tournaments in Europe invites you to join them in the most beautiful surroundings you'll find in Europe. The Swedish Open and Masters is held from August 16th till 18th. A popular tournament for many of Europe's best aerosmiths. For more information on each of these tournaments, go to the link in the description. A special thank you to our tournament sponsors Winmore, ANG Travel Group, iDarts, Dart Connect, CT1 and Quiff.
Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the men's third round here at the 2023 CT1 WDF Lakeside World Championship. This is the home of World Darts. This is Lakeside. We welcome back to the stage a man enjoying his Lakeside World Championship debut, the reigning Cyprus Classic, Cyprus Masters and Swedish Open champion from Switzerland, TJ Thomas Junghans. <laughs> We now welcome to the stage a former World Championship quarter finalist, the former Northern Ireland match play champion from the Netherlands, the countryman, Chris Landman. <laughs> Chris Lambman and Thomas Youngens to conclude the afternoon session. And for one of them to book their place in the quarterfinals, something that Johnny Tatter, Kirsty Hutchinson, and most recently, Dennis Nilsson have managed to do. It was a professional performance from Landman in his second round match. He wasn't put under pressure 
often enough by David Kerwin. You feel there is a lot more to give from the very, very rapid Dutchman. But Thomas Younghand in 2023 has become something of a winning machine. He's travelled around Europe a lot, scooping titles here, there and everywhere. A couple of them coming in Cyprus. And he has been impressive in this tournament. He easily dispatched David Pallett 2-0, who had to dash off during the day because of the, the birth of his daughter and a player who hasn't had too many darts this season because of a few issues with technique. But it was his match against the number 10 seed, Kai Fan Leung. Thank you, ladies It really first set, made people first sit up and realise that Thomas Younghans is a quality player. He's been a big scorer. Nine 180s in two matches. 100. But if Landman plays somewhere near his best, he could get the better of the Swiss. It is a classic contrast of the styles. 59. Chris Landman, the way he plays dark, it's almost like he doesn't even aim. Get rid, get rid, and get rid. 43. Jürgen's more considered up on the hockey. 49. Had to show battling qualities against Kai Fan Leung because he 100. did go a set down against the man from Hong Kong. 97. Match where both players were pretty handy in the scoring section of the game. It was just the doubles that let them down. Youngman's kept his consistency longer, and that's why he was able to celebrate success. Forty-two. Landman's largely played away from the WDF circuit this year. Played the Dutch Open in February. Lost in the last 16 to Denny Alderkalter, but he's prioritised the Challenge Tour. He's had plenty of Pro Tour invites because of his ranking in the Challenge Tour. And he did enough to qualify for Minehead, where he lost to another Dutchman, Jan van Veen, 41. around a week ago. Large part of that was reaching a Pro Tour final, where he was defeated by Christoph Rutajski. He's a player with plenty of calibre. He's not exactly started in fine form. 95. Thomas, you require 64. Going to get two darts at double eight. In charge of the double four is found. Thomas Youngham. Second leg, it's Thomas to throw first. Game on. Early indication for Landman if he needed one of just what Thomas can do. Sixty. Ninety-five. In a similar fashion to Dennis Nilsson, who we just saw earlier, Thomas Jungen's made improvements on his average from round one to round two. It was 82 and a half against Pallet, just shy of 88 against Kai Fan Leung. 96. Laman's got one of those throws which, when it works, is an absolute dream to watch. You can just follow dart after dart in the treble 20. And like a, a lot of quick players, if it's off, then it's off. And seemingly, he needs to find the on switch. 96.
43. Forty-five. Could maybe have gone up and looked for the treble twenty. Leave one six seven. The first two darts there weren't particularly helpful. Sixty. Eighty-one. Thomas, you require 142. 42. Very modern way of going for 142. A couple of treble 17s to 91. Leave top. Thomas, you require 139. 59. Thomas, you require 51. Tops for Thomas. 31. Chris, you require 80. Should get one dart at a double. That double will be tops as well. 40. Thomas, you require 20. 4 you require 40 couldn't use any of those guides 30 but the early signs for Chris Landman are not good Thomas you require 20 in charge and a second they're leg. better for Thomas Landman Thomas, Thomas Youngens third leg is yeah, dart players mixed up then first. game on One hundred and forty. Eighty five. One hundred and forty. Back-to-back -back visits of 140 might just breathe a bit of new life into Landman. 41. Tight game always looked to be on the cards. 41. And it was tight in their only previous meeting. The Helvetia Open last year. It went the way of Landman, 4-3. Fifty-eight. Chris, you require one hundred and twenty-one. Could still do it. Not that he Eight needed five. to set up the ball. Seen that shot, shot go already this week. Single eleven when going for the ball, and then treble twenty and the bullseye. Ninety-seven. Chris, now the player who did it, six. his name escapes me. Landman's on the board though. Fourth leg, Thomas to throw first. Game on. Twenty-two. Ninety-one. Well, a fair bit of the focus in the early exchanges has been on Lambman's slow start, but Thomas Youngins isn't pulling up trees. Ninety-seven. It's completely understandable that players do make 
slow starts to matches, just getting used to the environment. I know they've been up on that stage already this week. Every day is a new day. Treble 19. 139. Well, this leg has really turned around. Back to back visits of 41. No help for Landman. Thomas, you require 62. Double 16. 30. Press your require 133. To get back control of the first set, Chris Landman needed 133. 93. Thomas, you require 32. Reliance on Youngens missing the doubles. Game shot and a first. Miss set. he does not. Thomas Young has. Second set, first leg. It's Thomas to throw first. Game on. Fifty-seven. Forty-one. Sixty. Poor start to this leg for Thomas. And only just down to a finish after fifteen darts. Another one there. 96. It was hard to see Thomas on the camera picture whether that was in. It clearly wasn't. Has he saved the best till last? Bullseye. One away from a massive combination checkout. And Chris Landman breaks the throw. Second leg, it's Chris to throw first. Game on. One hundred. One. 
100. One hundred. Ninety five. A nice hat trick of tons for Thomas Youngans. Sixty. He's likely to get down to a finish. Will it be a good one? One hundred. The answer is sort of. 41. But the shake of the head from oh, Landman tells its own story. It's the ultimate frustration for a darts player when they can't hold after they've broke. 89. Chris, you require 160. But the chance was there. It no longer 60. is. Thomas, you require 12. Has to work it inside. A little bit more. That a much. Shot and a second leg. Thomas Younghan. Third leg, it's Thomas to throw first. Game on. Been a flat performance from both players, in all honesty. 99. Young and still looks like he's got that extra bit of spark though. 89. Fifty-seven. Forty-three. Grimace from Thomas Youngens. One hundred. Ton from Landman. Sixty. Very uncharacteristic of both players to be showing so little. Sixty. You require one hundred and fourteen. Fifty eight. Thomas, you require one hundred and twenty three. Trouble nineteen, the first port of call. 
16 or treble. Bullseye. 98. Chris, you require 56. 8 shot and a third leg. Chris Landman. Chris Landman breaks back. Fourth leg, it's Chris to throw first. Game on. 21 dart break of throw. You don't suspect there's going to be too many more of those. 100. Seen a single 180 yet. Surprising given Youngen's penchant for the treble 20 bet. Better from the Dutchman. There have been odd legs where Chris Landman has been impressive. They have been all too uncommon. 137. Chris, you require 161. Nineteen. Good use of the ball. 25 would have left a two darter. 18 would leave tops. 98. Chris, you require 71. Full of options here. Double 16. Game shot. Chris Landon, clinical. Check. Chris Landon. Generally look good on the doubles going into the break. And he probably needs the break as well. Thomas Youngens missing opportunities, not getting a dart at double in that last leg. Both players will surely improve as they take five minutes. Chris Lamman and Thomas Youngens level at one all. This programme is brought to you by Benji Marine Engine Repair and Trading. Specialised in Watsila engines with a 24-hour-a-day high-quality worldwide service. And by Hemeco Storage Systems, your one-stop storage system solution with over 100 years of experience. The 45th annual Winmore Fleetwood Memorial Las Vegas Open will be held from January 19th till the 21st. Sin City welcomes you to come and play in the entertainment capital of the world. Both men's and women's champions will win places at the 2024 WDF World Championships. The Romanian Darts Festival is from January the 26th till January the 28th. Come join the party in Bucharest. Register to play by Wednesday the 24th of January. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is held from February 1st till February 4th. Registration is open until January the 16th. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is by far the largest darts party in the world that you should not miss. And the men's and women's champions go to the lakeside in December 2024. The Swiss Open and Helvetia Open tournaments are held from May 31st till June the 2nd. One of the longest running tournaments in Europe invites you to join them in the most beautiful surroundings you'll find in Europe. The Swedish Open and Masters is held from August 16th till 18th. A popular tournament for many of Europe's best aerosmiths. For more information on each of these tournaments, go to the link in the description. A special thank you to our tournament sponsors, Winmore. ANG Travel Group, iDarts, Dart Connect, CT1 and Quiff.
Welcome back to the final game at Lakeside this afternoon, where both Chris Landman and Thomas Youngens are struggling to capture their best form. It has been an even game, but it will feel like a real slog for both players. Sub-80 averages, we've only had one leg of darts that's gone in under six visits. That was a 13 darter from Chris Landman in the third leg of the match. But at least the Dutchman can cling to the fact that in the four legs that he's won, he's only had five darts, or only had to use five darts. If the scoring power increases, and Chris Landman has all the tools to win, It will be him to restart the game once our referee, Garin Roderick, calls game on. Both players getting a few more practice starts under their belts. Thomas Youngens, after piling his way into the treble 20 for much of the tournament, has come up dry on the 180 count. Chris Landman not fared a huge amount better. Neither player having a, a huge break with this very busy schedule. Third set. Both of them were in action yesterday Chris. afternoon. Game on. And sometimes a, a day's rest can benefit a player. One sometimes a break can benefit a player. Two. After two sets of not being able to fill up the treble 20, Chris Landman finally obliges, finally gives the crowd what they want. 134. 121. Just went four into a nine. 100. Three visits Mission apiece, 100. and it's already better from both. Tops. Chris Landman has come out from the break firing. And yet, he could still lose. 100. He's got another chance. 43. Chris, you require 20. Chris Landman finds double ten. Second leg is Thomas to throw first. In front now for the first time. Winner of this match could face the reigning champion Neil Duff. Assuming he gets the job done against Martin Turner this evening. Landman is a man transformed. One hundred. Eighty one. There's the much wanted max for Thomas Youngens. Number 10 for the tournament. 100. 
Thomas, you require 161. Chris, you require 140. Don't bust it. 100. It's so always the danger. 62. May not get a go at tops. Chooses the treble 18 route again for double four. Thomas Youngins is also a man who's much improved. Ninety-one. Good job. We're not going to get another break. One hundred and twenty-one. This is what we want to see. I'm disappointed to come away with only a ton. One hundred. And that's because he maybe had a feeling that Thomas was going to get to a finish first. One hundred and But a one seven seven from Landman. Thomas should acquire one hundred and twenty four. Means that this one, two, four may need to go for a break of throw. Double 11. Thomas Youngens so close to that much wanted break of throw. It has been an astonishing turnaround in this game. Six. Thomas, you require but things have seesawed that much that Landman is now missing doubles. Thomas splits six for double eight. Fourteen. Maybe he overthought that. Chris, you require six. Game shot. Straight in for Chris Landman. Chris Landman. Thomas to throw first. Game on. There have been 4-180s in three legs and a 177 from Landman. It was after nothing in two sets. 45. Twenty-one. Lucky with the bounce out. One hundred. Chris Landman's average has increased to eighty-six. It was seventy-seven at the end of the second set. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. 
82. Bit more of a sedate fourth leg in this set after a hyperactive first three. Chris, you require 84. But Chris Lambert could still do this in 14 darts. Double 12 for the set. Yes. Chris Lambert does get the set. Chris Lambert. Double quick time as well. Full set, first leg. It's Thomas to throw first. Game on. Lambin hot favourite for another break. Youngens has picked himself up from the first two sets. But Lambin has pole vaulted. 88. Press you require 83. 14 dart leg. Chris Lambert. Second leg, it's Chris to throw first. Anymore. The Chris Lambert cream is rising to the top. Follow the first two. And still Landman's in control. 140. Last two legs have been one in 15 and 14 darts.
This could be another 15 darter. Youngins wants to stay on the treble 20, so he doesn't have to try the 164. The treble 18, he's going to come away empty handed. Double 12 is missed. Still, he's made to wait. And he's going to have to wait some more. Thomas Junghans. Thomas Junghans ends the mini rot. Third leg, it's Thomas to With his first ton plus check out of the match. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. Very unhelpful stray into the single one. Forty. Big score from Lamman really increases the pressure. One hundred. Forty. Chris, you require one hundred and forty one. Eighty nine. Thomas, you require 140. He made mincemeat of 117. 140, too tricky, and again, it's another bounce out. Forty. Really unfortunate. Chris, you require 52. 80. Landman takes full advantage. Is Chris to he is Chris. throwing for the match. Game on. An archetypal game of two halves. 24. But he has stumbled out of the blocks. Well, the more bounce outs you have, the more it will seep into your mind. The more it might even change how you throw the dart. 22. Chris Landman averaging 23 in this leg. Finishing 
Danish lineitis might just be plaguing him. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. You can see the funny side of 180 coming immediately after 46 with six darts. 134. Might look at the bull with the second dart. 45. One oh five would have left the big fish. Ninety nine. Now he looks at the oh thirty four. Thought he was going to look at the bullseye then. Ninety-four. Sixty. Thomas, you require thirty-six. Thomas Youngens is a man Thomas not Young. prepared to give up. Thomas to throw first. Game on. That 180 from Lambert in the previous leg was in the middle of some very ropey visits. 93. 100. The big players, the players who want to win, make the right shots at the right time. Down for treble 19. Or oh, treble 15, double 16 now. 105. We're going to a fifth set. Thomas Younghan. Fifth and final set. First this game may have started in mediocre fashion, but it has become absolutely absorbing. 135. for Landman. Thank 
A max apiece. But Landman has denied himself a chance to go out in 12. Sloppy setup. Chris Landman takes tops. Chris Landman. Second leg, it's Thomas to throw first. Game on. He's been decent on that target. One hundred. Hard to believe that it's the same two players that took to the stage around about half an hour ago. Decided it wasn't the right shot to go at the treble 20. Probably spooked by the bounce outs. Thomas, you require 158. Taken this out already. Yeah, he takes it out again. For the second time, Chris Landman has got the darts to win Third this darts match. To throw first. Game on. One hundred. The last time he was in this position, he faltered. Thomas Jungens leapt. And in doing so, forced this fifth set, which has been magnificent. Youngens berates himself. He'll be patting himself on the back now. Chris, you require 146. Double 13. Thomas, you require 59. A 
and just after Chris Landman misses a match dart, Thomas Younghans takes the darts off him. Fourth there against Thomas, two throw first, game on. The volume in the building has plummeted. Lakeside is holding its breath. It does not know which way this match is going to go. 60. Forty enough for Landman to give himself a fist pump. Forty five. Eighty two. Need to treble. Chris Landman has got six darts in his hand. He may only need five. He needs snookers now. Another match dart, and Chris Landman takes it. A game that started slowly has turned into an absolute epic. Thomas Youngens has given the Lakeside crowd some real entertainment over the last few days, but the extra experience of Landman prevailed. After the break, both players were completely transformed. The scoring was excellent, but the landman doubling was clinical. Three from four in the last set decider. And he takes his place in the quarterfinal, where he'll face either Neil Duff or Martin Turner. That sums up or concludes this afternoon's action. But join us at 7 o'clock once again where we're going double dutch as Yella Klaassen faces Denny Aldi Coulter. But until then, have a good afternoon. This program is brought to you by Benji Marine Engine Repair and Trading. Specialized in Watsila engines with a 24 hour a day high quality worldwide service. And by Hemeco Storage Systems, your one stop storage system solution with over 100 years of experience. The 45th annual Winmore Fleetwood Memorial Las Vegas Open will be held from January 19th to the 21st. 
Sin City welcomes you to come and play in the entertainment capital of the world. Both men's and women's champions will win places well, at the 2024 WDF World Championships. The Romanian Darts Festival is from January the 26th till January the 28th. Come join the party in Bucharest. Register to play by Wednesday the 24th of January. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is held from February 1st till February 4th. Registration is open until January the 16th. The Toto Dutch Open Darts is by far the largest darts party in the world that you should not miss. And the men's and women's champions go to the lakeside in December 2024. The Swiss Open and Helvetia Open tournaments are held from May 31st till June the 2nd. One of the longest running tournaments in Europe invites you to join them in the most beautiful surroundings you'll find in Europe. The Swedish Open and Masters is held from August 16th till 18th. A popular tournament for many of Europe's best aerosmiths. For more information on each of these tournaments, go to the link in the description. A special thank you to our tournament sponsors, Winmore, ANG Travel Group, iDarts, Dart Connect, CT1 and Quiff.